Hey everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Helena, and if you're new here, welcome. Please make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell uh, below. It will help me out a lot. And now, with that being said, in today's video, I'm going to be explaining what the acceptance criteria is, and I'm also going to give you a chat GPT prompt that you can start using on your projects to help you write these acceptance criteria much faster. It will also help you brainstorm some new acceptance criteria maybe that you didn't think about or overlooked. So first, let me explain what an acceptance criteria is. So when you're managing a project using agile methodologies, particularly uh, Scrum, you will have your projects running in sprints. And in Scrum, what you would do as the product owner is that you would divide up all of the requirements that you have in your project into user stories. And each user story re re represents a piece of work that needs to be done, and this a specific piece of work that needs to be done is written in the perspective of the user. And that's why it's called a user story. So, and each of these user stories will have corresponding acceptance criteria. And the acceptance criteria, when they're all met, will tell the development team when the specific user story will be finished. For example, let's suppose that we were building out an e-commerce platform so that users can upload um, their products and there are customers of those users can then go and purchase those products from the website. And one of the components is the checkout page, right? So if one of our user stories, right, is to um, allow the users to be able to put in their credit card and check out, the acceptance criteria for that user story could be that uh, the, the uh, PayPal and credit card logos are displayed on the page. The users are able to choose their payment method. User are able to enter in their credit card info. Um, user is able to see the terms of conditions. Uh, user is able to take things out of their card and add in new things to their card and the user is able to submit um, their credit card information securely. So you can see um, from this example that the acceptance criteria is really like a checklist of things that needs to be done uh, in order for that this particular requirement or user story to be complete. All right, now that you know what a user story is, let's take a look at how now we can use AI to write these acceptance criteria much faster. So I'm going to walk through this prompt with you. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to be just pointing out some stuff like inside of writing prompts so that you actually learn how to write prompts. And whenever you run into new use cases, um, you can actually start writing this much more efficiently. Okay. So instead of this prompt that I have written here, I just start off by defining what an acceptance criteria is. So I say acceptance criteria are predefined standards or requirements a project must meet to be accepted by the stakeholders. These criteria ensure that the project team and the stakeholders have the same understanding of what will be uh, delivered. So, and then I give ChatGPT very, very specific instructions. So whenever you're writing prompts, make sure that you get very, very specific. Just imagine that, you know, ChatGPT is an assistant that you have. And so the more information you give ChatGPT, the better the outcome that you, you will get. So, I say here, while crafting the acceptance criteria, make sure you address the following. Make sure you address the functional requirements. So these are, this is what the deliverable must do, such as specific capabilities or features. It's also going to address the performance requirements. And this is how well the deliverable must perform under specific, specific conditions, the design requirements. So any specific design elements the deliverable must meet if applicable, um, usability requirements. So this is any standards related to the user experience and ease of use. And then lastly, there's the compliance requirement. So this is any legal industry or company standards the deliverable must meet. I also give it some additional instructions here. So you can see how this prompt is structured. First, I tell ChatGPT and give ChatGPT an overview of what I'm expecting. So I'm wanting it to write acceptance criteria. Then I can I give it some examples of um different types of acceptance criteria that it should watch out for. And then lastly, I'm telling it that these acceptance criteria must be testable, clear, concise, agreed upon by all stakeholders. They, uh, they play a main and crucial role in ensuring that 
the project deliverables must meet the stakeholders' expectations for this task, write acceptance criteria uh, based on the following product feature and user story. Great, so I'm just gonna copy and paste this and then go over to ChatGPT and then I'm copy and paste in this. Okay, so I have just copied and pasted in the user story that we have. Alongside of that, I have told it the specific, um, chat, told ChatGPT the specific feature that we want to write acceptance criteria for, and I have given it the user story. So I told ChatGPT that the product feature is that we're developing an e-commerce checkout page, and the user story is, as a customer, I want to be able to enter in my credit card details so that I can purchase the items I want from the store. And I'm just gonna press enter. And just like that, you can see that ChatGPT is giving us a lot of different acceptance criteria that we can consider. So under functional requirements, it's telling us that we need to uh, check for the checkout page must allow the customers to enter in the credit card details. Payment processing, the page must be capable of processing payments, error handling, and then under performance requirements is telling us that we need to watch for transaction speed, uh, load capacity. So how many times the uh, checkout page can be loaded. Design requirements, the layout, the, re the de design has to be responsive. So it works on mobile. Um, then it goes into usability requirements, uh, input ease, um, the instructions, like having tool tips provided for CVC. So you can see it's, very, very comprehensive. And I'm not even speeding up this video. You can see how quickly uh, it was able to write all of these acceptance criteria for us. So um, if you ha haven't been using ChatGPT, I mean, it's absolutely amazing and such a game changer in terms of speeding up your productivity. So um, I'm also going to have a link below where you can get this exact acceptance criteria template. So you don't have to uh, try to Write all, write all of this out yourself. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much for joining me for this video. And please make sure you like and subscribe if you got some value out of this.